What's up everybody? Welcome to the Fad Collection. This is Barsace and today we're giving a nod to Houdat Nation by making a Sazerac. Every time I go to New Orleans, I'm always either drinking a Sazerac or a Vucre. We have videos for both, so don't worry just in case you want the other one, but we're gonna start with the Sazerac here today. So we have our glass, and the first thing we're gonna do is take absinthe and spritz that into the glass itself. If you don't have an atomizer, it's pretty easy. Just take a few drops of the absinthe and then go ahead and just swirl it around in the glass and then dump that out. But if you have an atomizer, great. It's actually really easy to use and you just put it straight in. We're then gonna take our Uri mixer, go ahead and put our sugar cube in. After that, Peychaud's bitters. This adds a really nice herbaceousness. For me, four dashes goes a really long way and is absolutely delicious in this drink. We're gonna add a bit of sparkling water over that sugar cube. This will just help break it up a little bit. So just to repeat, we have four dashes of Peychaud's bitters, we have our sugar cube, and then we also have a little bit of sparkling water to break that up. Really grind into that sugar cube, make sure it's really nice and diluted into the cocktail because you don't want those chips sticking together from the, the sugar cube and making your drink kind of granulated. All right. So we've got that pretty nice and diluted. Next thing we're gonna do is add our rye whiskey. So this is gonna be two ounces. I'm using rye specifically because it carries a little bit more punch and you'll be surprised about how much the sugar actually weighs down the drink as far as its overall heat. After that, we simply add our ice. I'm getting this beautiful aroma of absinthe coming from the glass right now, which I love. Just to repeat the ingredients, four dashes Peychaud's. We have a sugar cube, sparkling water to dilute that sugar cube, and then we finish with two ounces of rye. You can give us a little spin here. We're gonna give about 20 to 30 spins. Whew, this is making me wanna take a flight out to New Orleans right now. We have spritzed the absinthe into the glass. Beautiful thing about this cocktail is it takes no ice. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour that in. I'm using the double strainer with this because I want to ensure all those chips are out of the cocktail, making for a really nice clean finish. And lastly, a lemon twist. I'm just going to give this a little twist around the rim. You can spin it to make it a little bit easier for you. And then just drop that bad boy right in. And it's all finished. Welcome to New Orleans.